Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Family Talks. Again, during the month of February, we are, are focusing on the topic of missions. And today we have with us uh, Paul Bach. Uh, Paul is a member of Pea Ridge Baptist Church in Huntington and has also um, works with SCORE International. Um, so, so, Paul, thanks for joining us. And just to start us off, um, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and tell us about SCORE International. Hey, good morning. Thanks for the opportunity, Todd. Yes, I have been going to Pea Ridge Baptist Church for over 15 years now. I've been involved with uh, children's ministry, youth ministry, and the last eight years in college and career ministry. So it's been exciting. I know that's where God has wanted me all these years. Uh, up until this last year, God's changed my direction. Uh, so we're looking to, uh, we are missionaries. We're School International full-time now. So we're pretty excited about where God has led us at this point in our lives. So SCORE International is a short-term mission organization that we could uh, take trips domestically, internationally. If you want to go on a mission trip, we'll be glad to take you. So we are currently uh, enrolling groups, individuals, sports teams, church teams, college uh, groups of any kind. If they want to go, we'll take them. Uh, almost wherever they want to go. We have a lot of uh, missionaries in Central America. Um, we have them scattered throughout the world. So let us know where you want to go and we'll see if we can't make that happen for you. Now, I, I know that you have one uh, one trip uh, planned uh, with Milton Baptist. Can you share just a, a little bit about that? Yes, we had some, several ladies from Milton Baptist wanted to go on a mission trip, wasn't exactly sure where they wanted to go. So I threw a couple opportunities out there. We've got some dates scheduled to go to Panama uh, the 1st of June, so that's pretty exciting. We've added uh, a couple more people to the trip, uh, so we're just, uh, we want to keep it a small trip. A lot of times, uh, for most of these, it's a first-time missions opportunity overseas. Uh, Panama is a great opportunity. It's not a long flight, it's an easy flight, uh, so we'll be working with missionaries in the field. Um, so if you're interested, you know, give me a holler. We have a couple spots. We'd love to plug you in. Yeah. And, you know, one of the things that I, that I, you know, I, I expressed to Paul, you know, just that, that I'm personally excited about is, is just more opportunities, you know, over the last two years, uh, speaking with lots of individuals, lots of churches, um, you know, I think we're all tired of this pandemic. We're ready to get back on the mission field, ready to get back overseas, uh, but there's all these restrictions and travel restrictions. And um, and again, you know, people, I, I, like I, I said, you know, I spoke to someone just even earlier today asking about some opportunities. And I'm just kind of at the spot right now where I'm just like, I, I don't know anymore. Uh, but, you know, just this just kind of multiplies the number of opportunities that we have to be able to offer to churches. Um, you, you mentioned um, you know, some of the work that you do with, with high school students, with college students. Um, I, I've also heard you talk before about the CLIMB program. Can you tell us what that is? Yes, yeah, SCORE has brought me on to be the U.S. Director of the Gap Year program called CLIMB. So if you're familiar with the Gap Year, it's mostly students that just finished up high school. Before they go to college, they'll take a year. They try to figure out, you know, maybe where God's leading them. So this is a discipleship program that focuses on ministry and missions. So what we'll do is we'll take a student. Uh, currently, we have the Dominican Republic campus open. Uh, so we'll take you to the Dominican Republic for nine months. It's just regular school year, the end of August to the 1st of May. And we're going to focus on several things. Uh, we're, we want to get accomplished kind of what God means to the student themselves. Because up until now, you know, most students graduate in high school, haven't been away from home for more than a week at a time, um, have kind of figured out what they believe and why, mostly based on their parents or their or their church, what they've learned at youth group. But we, you know, they're going to be there nine months. Uh, yes, they'll be there with like-minded individuals and other students, but they will have to figure out who God is to them uh, individually. And I think that's a huge part in all of our lives as far as uh, important time frame in their lives. Uh, we also want to try to get accomplished. We understand that, you know, they go through this this program, most of them is going to come back to the U.S. Uh, we want to, you know, just continue to teach and train them on what they've already believed, build on what they've already been taught. Uh, so, you know, in the Great Commission, God commands us to go as, as we go so we can teach and train what they believe and why and strengthen their beliefs so they can use that no matter what they do in life. If 
if they're a dentist, if there's a salesperson, if they're a clerical worker, or if they decide to go into ministry, this will help prepare them uh, for that lifestyle. Yeah, and yeah, that's fantastic. And I know that you'll also be um, present at, at, at the upcoming Senior High Convention uh, that the convention is offering at, at New Baptist Church, sharing about some opportunities there with, some, with, with the high school students, correct? Yes, I was given an opportunity, Jill, since you would like me to come do an interest group on missions. So I'll be there. Um, so if you, you know anyone that's interested is going to be there, come sign up for the missions. It'll be fun. Uh, hopefully it'll you know focus you a little bit more on mission. It does not just international, but uh, domestic missions as well. What kind of missionaries go through and what that looks like. And I'll also be able to be there to talk more about uh, the Gap Year program. Climb, if you might be interested, come see me. I can give you some more details about what the day-to-day -day looks like, uh, but we're just excited. We're, we're really looking to um, interview students, have them apply and interview students for the upcoming year, the 22-23 year that starts in uh, August this year. Okay, so, so, so again, short-term opportunities, uh, gap year opportunities. Um, how, how did you get involved? Oh, that's a great question. That's probably going to take longer than what we have, but it, I took my first mission trip in 1999 with Score International with a bunch of guys I was going to church with, um, and I thought we were just going to play basketball. The missionaries can share the gospel with everyone who attended, and they did. It was fantastic, and then over the years, uh, even at Pea Ridge, I've led a couple mission trips uh, through Score International to Dominican Republic and to Costa Rica. So I've been involved with the organization for a while. A good friend of mine, Trey Bailey, has been a missionary with them for a number of years, over 20 years now, believe it or not. He was on that same basketball trip. So I was familiar with them. Trey sent me an email, said, we've got a couple opportunities, a U.S. director of the climb program and a Dominican director, because we had been shut down for a couple of years because of COVID as well. And uh, so as soon as I saw that opportunity, I thought, man, that, that sounds just like me. And so God worked in my heart. My wife was okay with it. And so we just kind of took it from there and ran with it. Well, yeah, that's exciting stuff. And you and you are in the in in, in the process of, of raising some personal support. Is that correct? Yeah. So we've raised some already. God's blessed us tremendously in those regards financially, but we still have a long way to go. Uh, we were also I applied for a grant and was awarded it specifically to help. Uh, give money for missionaries like me on deputation, trying to raise full support. So with that, I was I was able to quit my sales job of 25 years last December. So I've been a full-time missionary for just a little over a month now, and it's been great. God's provided us the funds to pay our bills, uh, because if not, my wife has been the first one to tell me. So it's been it's been good. God's been been gracious to us over all this time. Yeah, so a lot, again, lots of ways to get involved. If you're interested in short-term mission trips, if you're interested in just playing basketball, um, yeah. you know, there's, there's opportunities that that's how Paul got involved. You know, if you're interested in, in, in a gap year, if, you, if you're interested in getting involved in, in prayer and financial support, obviously, um, you know, here's here's an opportunity for for you as well. Um, for, for those who, who want to pursue any of those, you know, what's what's the best way to contact you, Paul? Yeah, easy to get a hold of. My phone number is 304-416-0232. My email address is just Paul at score, S-C-O-R-E-I-N-T-L dot O-R-G. Okay. And yeah, and, and again, you know, from my standpoint, excited about, um, you know, just the way that God, you, you know, just continues to multiply opportunities for us. You know, Paul, um, you've been a part of, of our convention family for a long time. Your your kids have grown up a part of our convention family, been involved in things like BCM and, and Cowan. That's probably another another interview um, that could come from all oh, that. Yeah. But, um, but obviously, uh, you know, just thankful for just your own obedience to, to God's calling on, on your own life. And again, excited to see uh, what comes from from all of this, um, both in the Huntington area, as well as just with, with 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 your connections, as well as, you know, just opportunities with with our 300, 360 plus churches across our convention, because like I said, this just multiplies uh, the opportunities. Um, you know, yeah, another thing, yeah, another thing, you know, um, just kind of putting this out there too. Uh, at, at the end of, of July, we typically have our, our camp global, our missions camp at um, at, at Cowan again. You know, that's another thing. I would, I'd, Paul, I'd love to, uh, for you to come and be a part of again, just to, to just share about opportunities. But uh, we can talk about that as as that date gets closer. Um, that's any, great. I appreciate. Yeah. That. Yeah. Anything else uh, that you feel is 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 important to share or for people to to just 
to know about in terms of opportunities? Yeah, we've just got plenty out there. We've got plenty through the convention. You know, if you've got uh, high school students, send them to the senior high convention. We're looking forward to seeing them. Cowan's right around the corner, believe it or not. Uh, as you know, I've been involved with junior high too, and we're getting that up. We had our first meeting the other day, so we're really excited about camp this year. Uh, and so there's just plenty of opportunities, you know, inside the convention, inside your own church. So get involved locally with what God, with, with your abilities, use your abilities there locally to serve the Lord. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, again, Paul, thanks for joining us. And again, if, if you if you have more questions, um, contact Paul, contact myself, uh, leave comments on, on on this on this Facebook post, whatever you want to do. Uh, we'd love to get in touch with you. Love to get Paul in touch with you just to better connect you with with opportunities where God can use you again around around the state and around the world. Uh, but again, thanks for joining us for this episode of Family Talks and we'll see you next week.